This is a video tutorial on how to create a basic house in SketchUp. I'm on the modules page of principles of design. So first I'll just click on that assignment. First thing you do is click on that link. Then you're going to log out with Google and you're going to follow along with the video I'm creating. Anytime in architecture you refer to inches, you actually hit this two little marks. That's the key, one key left of the enter key. And then feet is actually just that hitting that one key. If you have trouble on, on doing the feet inches that I refer to in the video, get my attention. And so it's a real quick thing. I'll just show you here's inches, here's feet. Okay. So click on that link there. I'm going to log out with Google. Gets me to the online version of SketchUp. Now I click on the down arrow and I'm going to create an architectural feet and inches document. The first two things you need to know is the, the scroll wheel when you scroll in and out, it zooms right here. And when you hold it down, it lets you rotate in three dimensional space. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a box. So it's going to be just click and drag out. So 20 feet, comma, 20 feet, enter. So I go in box. Now I need to offset that to create a wall. So this is an offset key. So I go from the red line here. So I need to go inside, not outside, inside, six inches, enter. So I can my offset. Now you use it as a push pull up here. Now all you need to do is go in the right direction. I don't need to go to 11 feet or anything. So you go in the right direction and then type in 11 feet enter. Okay. So I got my drawing that. So now I'm going to draw the door. So I'm going to go from the midpoint here, the blue dot. So you can I just go in the right direction, this blue line, seven feet enter, and the red line. Three feet enter, blue line, seven feet enter. And I've got my door. Okay. Now I'm going to create some guidelines to create a, make it easier to create a window. Okay. And the window has to be in the same kind of like uh, line as the door. So click on that. Ten measures tool. So it has to be on the line, not the corner, but the line. So over here it's three feet. Again, again, on that line again, that's line, five feet, enter. Now I'm going to go from this line here, not the corner again, this line, and I go straight down to this here. So I'm clicking the line here, go three feet, enter. Now I can actually create that square from my window. Now rectangle tool, I can create from the intersection here, so the intersection here, okay? Now I actually can delete those lines there, click and drag it, go those two lines, click and drag over these two lines. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now I use the push pull command and I can delete those. So I click in once, and then it's going to remove that, extrude that, and I want to click on the edge of the inside line here, not the outside, but the inside. And do that with the window as well. So the inside. So those two can delete. So now I'm going to click on the selection tool and then click on the building three times. So. And then it should be all blue right there. Okay. Right click and I say make group. So it's all grouped now. Okay. Now deselect it. Now I need to click on the rectangle tool again. Now I'm going to create a ceiling. So I'm going to go from here to the outside corner here and it creates a ceiling. Now I'm going to create the roof. I'm going to create a line tool and I go from the outside midpoint there, four feet in the blue direction, four feet enter. Now I'm going to go from the top to this corner here and I'm going to do it again from the top to that corner. Okay, now to delete this line up here, so I'm going to click on the erase tool, click and drag over this and it deletes it. Okay, so now I need to actually um, just extrude that. And go to the. Sorry, I did that because it did something wrong. So click on this and come out to this corner here. So it extrudes it. Okay. Now I need to create some details for the roof. Okay. So I'm going to click on the offset tool right here, offset. 
So it needs to be on this red line. So this kind of dash. So that needs to be about four inches. Okay. So that's kind of the offset of my roof there. So now we're going to draw lines from this corner just down. I know they're already aligned there, but I want you to draw a line. It, it'll mess up if you don't. So then you're going to draw a line from this corner straight down. Now you're going to erase that line that's in the middle. Okay. So now we're going to actually use the uh, push pull command here. So I'm going to go to uh, this and move out one foot. One foot. Now I'm actually going to rotate that around. And now I need to actually push pull command on this and come out to this little line here. See that line? Okay, so now I'm going to do it one more time and create that one foot overhead. One foot ether. Okay. Um, so now I've got my uh, everything. So I need to click on the selection tool again. And now I actually did click on that group. Now I need to uh, explode that group. So I need to explode it there. Okay. So I made a group earlier and now I exploded it. So I deselect it now. The last thing I'm going to do is actually create the right. The materials and I click on the paint bucket tool which we're going to my two materials and I click on this uh, browse thing and I go to my brick cladding oh I'm sorry I forgot one last thing so I need to create a line around the outside so I'm going to click on um, sorry this line I need to create a line three feet around the edge of my building so so this line goes to here and I rotate around on that line, straight here, rotate around here, right there, rotate that around some more, here, to there. And then I can do it one more time, okay? From here to there, okay? So I have my line all the way around my building, okay? So now I can go back to the pink bucket tool, okay? And now I apply the brick to the bottom here. So it's going to be bottom, 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 and I can rotate it around. And all three lines like so at the bottom here is brick, but now I make, uh, this needs to be the, um, Oh, I can do this like uh, this is a siding basically, and I create the siding here. Okay, so there needs to be a siding there, and the siding as well on these sides. Yeah, okay, so now I need to create uh, the roof. So I can go to um, roofing, and I can go down to you can choose any one. So when you're creating materials, so basically you just need to draw a three feet line around the whole thing make the bottom a different material than the top. doesn't really matter what you choose. I would probably recommend some brick, of course, on the bottom, and then like something on the top, maybe like a, this siding here. But you can use your own siding, new materials to apply that. But then I'm going to grab my roof materials. Let's say I grab some singles here, and I click and add that to my roof there. Okay. So now uh, the inside, I guess the eaves here, I can put that with a wood or something like that, you know? So let's go into the wood. I like this one here. And now I can apply that to that little shape there. And I can dump up here to this side and apply that over there. Okay, so I got my materials there. So here's my house. So I've completed, so I'm just completing the outside, okay? So now you can actually save this and turn it in. So you're gonna click on this is save here, and I'm actually going to choose my SketchUp thing here. Now, just like I did, I uh, uh, choose a name in here. So to choose a name, so I'm going to call this basic house two or something like that. So I click on save here, and it's going to save it. Now, what I want to do is actually click home here. And then I want to uh, download a copy. 
and it's going to download a copy. So I can actually now I can go back to uh, the assignment, okay, and then I click on. Oh, I need to actually do that. So you're basically going to I've done it before, but you turn that basic house sketch it and it's assignment, okay. So that should finish this uh, assignment here. So click on 